Why do people join cults? Why do you think? There are psychological benefits or ideas of psychological benefits which draw people in. People are fooled because of their own baggage, because of their own needs and desires. And cults capitalise on making people feel comfortable to come in the door. You come in, they indoctrinate you little by little, and before you know it, you're a full member. Obviously, one of the key traits is you don't realise it's a cult. They make out it isn't one. They make out perhaps there's reasons why it isn't one. But more likely than not, they don't even mention it. They make out they have the truth. After all, why would a cult advertise itself as a cult? Doesn't happen. Many people who get drawn into cults are sick with society, fed up with the way things are. They want change. So a self-help cult or a self-betterment cult might well seem to be the solution. Some kind of political organisation might well have the solutions that you think will really clear up the problems in the world. Or a religion that will deal with the big issues and bring about a better future for the whole of mankind. Which brings me on to a well-known point with cults. They believe they're saving the world or claim to be saving the world from evil conspiracies, from evil forces, from unpleasant political factors. And so is it any wonder that people latch onto that? Very often people want someone to look after them. So they find an organization of belief, a new family, a spiritual family, a political family, an activist group, whatever the case may be, and they feel a sense of belonging. Is it any wonder that they adhere to a very close knit group? It's not meant to be patronizing, but on average, women are more susceptible to cults. A lot of cults focus on certain ideas of belonging, femininity, sensitivity, and as a result, a great many women tend to be drawn in. Low self-esteem is definitely a factor when it comes down to joining cults, why you might join. Your sense of reality, your perceptions might well be clouded. And as a result, you think this will help you. You may be very quick to react. You may jump on the bandwagon and find that you end up with a positive psychological benefit of certain practices and ideas and a sense of belonging. But in reality, it's simply because you've been in a very dark place and coming out of that into a belief that seems to be quite supportive. Of course, it's going to seem like it's the truth, but it was simply down to where you were in your life at that time. You know, you could be drawn into any number of ideas, and if it's a mild belief, it won't make much of a difference. But if it's an organized cult, and you have certain obligations within the group, and indeed a core level of indoctrination, then of course it's gonna be a bigger issue, perhaps the biggest mistake you make in your life. I would say a big chunk is about finding a life purpose. Some kind of purpose in your life, some kind of purpose for life. Some kind of meaning, some kind of depth. And so these vague philosophical ideas within the New Age movement are very popular, as well as philosophical ideas in the East. But in any case, a purpose doesn't have to be incredibly deep or intellectual. It could be something which is quite basic, something that suits you, something for you to latch on to. And because it gives you a sense of purpose, a sense of direction, a sense of meaning, it seems to be the truth. And from there, you can be easily manipulated by those people within the organization. Striving for perfection is a key point. You're trying to improve yourself and the organization might well, well, suggest certain ways of doing that, to become enlightened, to become more Christ-like, to become more like a Buddha, more like a yogi, a person in a state of oneness or whatever the case may be. It could be psychological advice then coupled with pseudoscience and science fiction, as in the case of Scientology. Now this one might not be so obvious, but if you think about it, it is, and it links into several of the others on this list. It's the breakup blues. Yeah, you've broken up from someone, you're feeling vulnerable, and in an almost like rebound kind of thing, instead of a relationship with a person, ends up being with a belief system, you latch on to it, and so make it an important part of your life. And if that's the wrong kind of belief, the wrong thing you latch on to, something which may well be harmful in some way, shape or form, you could be stuck in a cult organization before you know it. And lastly, they have a persuasive recruitment process, something which really makes you think this must be good. You have these shiny, happy people with their big smiles, very charismatic, very focused on you, and you feel like that you're in the right place. You're going to the right people. And in reality, 
They're just simply pushing a sale, and it might well have worked for them. It could have worked miracles for them, but even so, it doesn't mean that the belief itself is true. It simply means that they're very good at selling the product.